Cancer, welcome back to the channel. Monica Louv here at The Love Messages. So today we're gonna to be doing your reading for the month of October. Now this is going to be a general reading, so it may resonate with you, it may not. If it does resonate with you, there will be a link in the description box for the extended. Cancer, in this reading, I'm gonna be taking a look at past, present, and future for you. I'm going to look at your challenge for the month of October, and I will be taking a look at what you don't see coming for the month of November. Okay, so your challenge for the month of October, Cancer, is the Nine of Wands. Okay. And what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck? Wow, you have the sun. Okay. Okay. So for you, Cancer, your biggest challenge for the month of October is the Nine of Wands. Now, I am using my uh, tarot deck that I created. So if you're interested in that, it's on sale now. Uh, link below in the description box. So I will read the important messages for you that I feel like you need to know. Nine of Wands is your challenge. Your important message here for your challenge is what are you determined to achieve in your life that you are about to give up on? So there's something that's happening in your life at this time where it's like you want, you want to achieve something great here. You have this deep burning desire that you want. You have this deep passion that you want. But for some reason, you're tired, you're weary. It's like, I've done enough, I've done enough work. When am I gonna be rewarded? When am I gonna, when are things gonna change? When is there gonna be a transition? Here's the hint that you need to know. Right when you're just about to give up, that's when it happens for you. And October is an interesting month for you because if you're a sun, moon, or you're a rising cancer, the sun being in the sign of Libra squares Okay, it creates a 90 degree angle to your sun, moon, or rising, which is challenging, right? It creates some sort of challenges for you. It ruffles some feathers, right? So the nine of wands is about really trying to persevere, trying not to give up on a situation, trying to really uh, hone in on that passion. And even though you feel tired, rest. You know, if you feel tired, rest and go back to the passion that you have for this thing that you're doing, right? Um, so right when you're just about to give up in October, you're super close. As soon as we move into November, things start to really look nice for you. Okay. And I think that's an important message that you need to hear in the extended. We're going to talk more about this. We're going to find out more about what this thing is that you're really tired of, but you're close to achieving. We're going to talk more about that in the extended. Now let's talk about the recent past cancer in the recent past. You have the queen of pentacles, the high and you have the 10 of cups. So in the recent past, I do strongly feel there was a commitment. You could have committed yourself to an earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. I'm also getting a Pisces here in the past, okay, in a relationship. Now, if you weren't in a relationship, this could have been a job that you committed yourself to, a project, uh, an institution, maybe you were, being, you were in school here in the past, whatever it is, maybe it was a business that you were committed to. It led to a lot of happiness for you. It brought so much support, emotional comfort, happiness uh, to you. And for some of you, this could have been um, a situation where you, even if this didn't happen, some of you believed that there was potential here for happiness. Some of you tried to commit to a situation here in the past, but the commitment crumbled. Okay. That's not for all of you, but for some of you, that could have also been the case as well too. But either way, something here looked very good for you in the past. It led to happiness. It led to success. And as a result of that, you committed to it here in the past. Now in the present moment, cancer, you have the world, the king of cups, and you have the six of wands, beautiful energy in the present moment. One of the things that you need to be aware of that spirit wants you to know, and it's super, super important. I hope you're paying attention. I hope you're listening to this. I hope you're not distracted doing something else because there's a really important message here. And 
the important message is the world, okay, is at the top of your reading. The world is a beautiful card because the world talks about cycles that are closing out, things that are no longer going to be a part of our journey, things that we overcame, things that we are um, closing out behind us. And I feel in the present moment, a lot of you are asking an important question. And the important question that a lot of you are asking is, Monica, when am I gonna be re recognized for something I did? When am I gonna be acknowledged for doing this? When is uh, this person gonna show me love? When is this person going to reach out to me? When is this person going to recognize the work and the energy that I put into this? And the answer is very soon. Okay, the answer is very soon because the world is closing something out for you. And October is that month where things are a little bit difficult. Uh, there's this feeling of heaviness. There's this feeling of um, like, why isn't this working out for me, right? And if you look at the King of Cups, I really love the King of Cups card because when you see the King of Cups, He's a little bit hesitant. He's a little bit unsure of something. You know, look at his eyes. He's like, mm, you know, are, are you are you really serious? Are you sincere, right? The King of Cups is asking, are you really sincere? So a lot of you want to know if a situation that you're involved in, is this person sincere? Should I continue give, giving my love to the situation? And the answer is yes for many of you, okay? especially with the world here. We're gonna talk more about this success that's coming into your life, what you need to know about this offer, what you need to know about this cycle closing out in the extended. Now in the near future, okay? In the near future, you have the seven of pentacles, the six of wands, and you have the hangman. So in the near future, uh, there's a lot of this reevaluation. There's a lot of reevaluation about your life about your journey. There's a reevaluation about maybe a relationship that you're involved in. This could also have a lot to do, you know, the hangman has a lot to do with reevaluating things. And so does the seven of pentacles. So for many of you, there's a very strong energy here about not taking action in the near future. And a lot of you are choosing not to take action or you're dealing with someone who chooses not to take action in the near future because Either someone here is not quite ready to take action or they're trying to look at the situation from a bigger perspective. And the reason why this is happening, I'm going to tell you why, is because there is a possibility here of a very large investment being made. Very large investment, but somebody here has options in the near future, okay? And I feel like this has a lot to do with someone you're inquiring about. A lot of you are asking about someone you're dealing with or you're asking about a business that you're doing. Um, so... Again, if this is you and you're take you're not taking action in the near future, you're not taking action in the near future because you don't know if this is for you 100%. Okay? And this is why your challenge is the 9 of wands because some of you in the present moment feel like just completely giving up on this. Right? You're looking for answers. You're saying, "You know what? Should I even just sh should I just give up on this? Should I just completely give up on it?" Um, so there's a lot of a reevaluation at the end of October, but one of the beautiful things that I feel, which is really important for you to know, cancer is the sun. The sun is the best card in the, in the tarot. It's the best card. Um, so I feel in November, if you're seeking answers, I feel like November is that month that's going to really give you the clarity and the warmth that you're looking for. So again, October is really murky for you, but I think there's important messages that you need to hear that are connected to your journey in the month of November. Underneath the sun, you have the emperor and underneath the emperor, you have the 10 of wands. Okay. So a major cycle is closing out for you. What I do see in November is stability is going to come in. I don't know how that's going to come in, but I do know something that's been very burdensome and difficult for you is going to come to an end and it's going to lead to a lot of happiness. But first, um, it's important that you correctly navigate October because October is going to throw a little bit of wrenches into the mix and uh, you want to make sure that you're able to um, overcome these challenges. Okay. And in the extended, we're going to clarify everything. We're going to see how and what you need to be aware of. And in the extended, I will give you some advice there. Okay. So cancer, thank you very much for tuning into this reading. I hope you got something from it and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.